Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a pretty cool video. I have the Kat Von D Too Faced collab with me. I have a lot of feelings about this, which I'm excited to let you guys know. And uh, if you're thinking about getting it, um, I think this is a really good video to watch because I have a lot of thoughts. Two of my favorite brands, to be completely fair with you. It's gonna be a completely honest little review for you guys. And um, I hope that this helps if you guys are thinking um, about purchasing it. Let's get into it. So this is what the palette looks like. There is a Too Faced side and a Kat Von D side. Um, it's actually magnetic, so you can take apart each palette if you just wanna bring one with you. So these are the swatches from the Kat Von D side. Now, I will say out of the two sides, Kat Von D wins. Um, her swatches are a lot better. That first gray color right there is a little bit chalky. I'm not in love with it. Um, but that silver shade is impeccable. The white shade, also really chalky and I find not very usable because when do you really need, you know, a white shadow, you know, you know? The black is perfect, but then again, it is also just kind of a black eyeshadow. Um, the red, however, if you like this collection, you should be buying it for that red color. It is the most stunning color out of all of the colors, including the Too Faced side. And if you don't really like that red shade, I just wouldn't buy these palettes. Um, the red shade is super pigmented, it's super buttery, it's beautiful. And then there's just a champagne color. These colors are just very underwhelming for me and you'll hear me say that a lot in this video that everything is just very underwhelming. I'm not overly excited to play with these. I layered stuff, I tried to make some cool colors and it just... Ugh. I didn't, I don't know, I just, I just, mm, I just couldn't. And that's why you'll see in the makeup look I just did something very simplistic, however, you know, I still love it. So yeah, I don't know. I'd say if you really love this red right here, buy it. I just think the price is a little steep for like one eyeshadow. Um, anyways, moving on. So for the Too Faced side, you know, I was really excited about this pink. I thought that that was gonna be like a really great color. Um, you know, same thing, I don't know what they were trying to do here. The color combo doesn't really speak to me. I'm not overly excited about it. The pink I was really excited about. And then you get to the swatches and it's just so disappointing that I'm like, why would I ever take this palette with me if I travel? Why would I ever reach for this palette? The first two speak for themselves. The pink, there's no pigment. There's literally no pigment in it. The next two, like the shimmery, the brown and the gut greeny kind of shade, they're beautiful, underwhelming. Um, the last two shades just, you know, they didn't do anything for me, but you know, it comes with a tattoo liner and a better than sex mascara, which kind of saved the whole shebang because obviously those are staples and really amazing, you know, I would purchase them on their own, so it kind of saved the whole collection. I just think overall I was like super underwhelmed and just not worth the money. The, the swatches really, really speak for themselves. Anyways. I still decided to create a look for you. I'm just starting off with this kind of cool eyeliner. Basically, I'm taking that on my waterline and a little bit below. Don't be scared to like really just be messy with it. Um, we're just gonna be taking a Q-tip and blending that out anyways. So you're just gonna buff that out until it looks a little bit, you know, not as in your face. This is just gonna work as like our first layer. Then I'm taking that same eyeliner pencil and I'm just dragging that out kind of like a reverse wing because it's under the eye and buffing that out again. Um, and then I just take that same liner and kind of just bring it up a little bit onto my lash line. I was really inspired by Shane XO's uh, Kim Kardashian video for this look because I just think like she just killed it. So I'm kind of just re recreating that look. Um, I'm going in with this like black shadow and this is what really kind of brings it together. It makes it more of a matte look, which I like it because it looked a little bit glossy there for a while. So just taking it on a really thin brush and kind of going over that. Um, yeah, then I'm going in with the Kat Von D tattoo liner right here. <laughs> and we're just gonna make that line a lot sharper. Um, I'm a fan of this. I've been using the Too Faced uh, ink liner lately but you guys know that I also love this liner and I was using it for so long. Then I'm just kind of creating like a cat eye at the front just bringing that liner down and back in. Um, you know throwing a little bit more eyeshadow on that and then we're just gonna buff that out a bit. Because I only used one shadow I was like we need to use something else. So I took that silver and I used that as like an inner corner highlight and I didn't think it did much at first but it really kind of 
I don't know. I just I just really like it with this look. Um, and then I went into the palette again and I took that like champagne color and I just threw that on my brow bone. I don't know, you know? I could have done a red look and I definitely will in the future. I just, you know, wasn't feeling a red look because I did a red look really recently. Um, so then I'm just taking that coal liner, putting that on my tight line, and then we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just put a a lot of coats of that onto my lashes. I'm using these lashes by Casina, and they're just really, really natural. I feel like keep it natural because we don't have any liner on the top. And so this is the final look. I love this look. However, you can do this look with basically any palette that you guys own, which is kind of the bummer. So I don't know, at the end of the day, if you love that red shade, I'd say would go into the store, swatch it, and if you think it's worth it, pick it up. Because it's, it's, it's a stunning shade. I just, you know, I mean maybe if you're planning on buying the liner and the mascara anyways, then it makes sense. Just a very underwhelmed collab. That's my two cents. I hope that it helped you kind of decide whether or not you really would like to purchase it. Um, like I said, two, I'm a huge fan of both of these brands, so I'm not hating on them, but definitely disappointed with this release. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.